Hey everyone, I'm Channel 2 Action News meteorologist Brian Monahan, continuing to keep an eye on the risk of some snow flurries and snow showers as we head to Tuesday afternoon and evening across North Georgia. Now, to produce snow, obviously we need liquid, we need moisture, and let's think about what an inch of water, an inch of precipitation means in terms of the amount of snow you could possibly expect. Basically, how wet or how dry is the snow. Now, when we think about the snow event we had just about 10 days ago, and we saw a few inches of snow fall across North Georgia, that was what we would call a wet snow. It took about an inch of water to produce just five inches of snow. That's that heavy, wet kind of snowball making snow that we saw across North Georgia about 10 days ago. Now, when the temperature drops to 30 degrees, that's when we get more of an average snow, a typical snow. That means one inch of water produces potentially up to about 10 inches of snow. And then when the air gets even colder, it holds less moisture. There's less moisture in the air and it takes less water to produce more snow. So with one inch of liquid, potentially up to 15 inches of snow with a temperature of 25 degrees. That is dry, fluffy snow and dry, fluffy snow is the kind of snow we will see in parts of our area as we head through Tuesday afternoon, evening and into very early on Wednesday morning. So let me show you first the liquid forecast and this storm is going to track to our south. It's going to keep the cold air in place and there's just not going to be a lot of moisture with it. So we're generally talking about in green less than a tenth of an inch of liquid. But when you think about very cold temperatures where that moisture is able to fall from the clouds and reach the ground, that potentially could produce more than uh, more snow because the air is dry. So what we're looking at here in white, the potential for up to about an inch of snow. So a coating to let's say an inch of snow in and around I-20 and down through our near south side uh, neighborhoods. The possibility uh, for that to, to stick, the pavement will be cold, so it will be no problem for any snow that falls to stick. And then in blue, where we get just a little bit more moisture through Eatonton, Griffin and LaGrange, the chance to see a little more than an inch of snow possibly in spots Tuesday afternoon and evening with up to about two inches possible in blue. So we've got a dry snow. That means with not much moisture around cold temperatures, that combination means we don't actually have to have a lot of liquid and a lot of moisture around to produce accumulating snow. We'll have forecast updates for you through the day on Channel 2 Action News.